I'm Julia Jackson, and this is Music Unite. Performing to start us off here at Music Unite, we're broadcasting straight from the historic El Rey Theater. We're going to burn this place down. I'm Ron Weisberg. I'm Pablo Pais. And we are about to talk to In The End. We have a great lineup tonight for all you metalheads out there. We have nothing but bands tonight performing live on our Jägermeister stage. Pablo and I will be talking to In The End. Then Mike Trujillo and I will be talking to Field of Elysium. After that, 94 Rock's own Swami Ra will be interviewing the army that is when darkness falls. Those guys rock. Jump in Jehoshaphat. It's the badass band profile of In The End. This progressive rock band was formed in 2006 on the mean streets of Taos, New Mexico. A quartet with intense, hard-hitting rhythm and evocative voice. You cannot mistake In The End with some other run-of-the-mill poser rock this is true musicianship at its finest. On Angel's Wings is their debut album, and the title song will push you over the edge and catch you when you fall three minutes and 57 seconds later. Check out their Facebook, which is ridiculously hard to find because of Linkin Park's whack-ass song of the same name. So go ahead and friend us instead at Music Unite. Badassbrewery.com. It's Bad ass. <laughs> Let's go back to Ron and Pablo with In the End. 
Welcome to Music Unite. I'm Ron Weisberg. There's my man, Pablo Paz. That's right, we have a very special interview with you tonight. We got In The End in the house. Mm-hmm. How's it going, guys? Good, good, man. So tell me, uh, how did all this thing start? I heard uh, you guys were working, and uh, one day it was like, hey, we should join a band. It, it all kind of started with him, to tell you the truth. Uh, His idea. Um, <laughs> it was. A, I think these guys were jamming, uh, Bob and Lloyd. And uh, they needed a drummer, so they called up Ron. And so them three were jamming for a while. And uh, I don't know, did you guys do a gig together? Usually, uh, or? No, no, no. Yeah. It was just more like just jamming and stuff. And we got together, and that was actually, we threw uh, Bob on bass, he was on guitar. You know, he was on guitar before, he jumped on bass, he did the scan drums, and I was playing guitar. But I, was, I really wanted to you know, be able to sing. And yeah. me and this guy were also jamming, so I was like, well, you know, I know the perfect person. And, it's funny because they're actual cousins too. They're actually cousins. Oh, so yeah, yeah, he's this my is, first cousin. So, it's awesome. small, so small, world. small world. Did you guys ever think that you'd end up in the same band when you started playing music, respectively? I think so, huh? Yeah, we we jammed a few times. We've done yeah. a couple of weddings and stuff, Chelsea Valley. And yeah, stuff it's just, you know, I'm the, the youngin. Somebody you know was just, was just jamming, come on up and do a song with us or something like that to you know sit in. And it was cool, man. You know. Uh, that's one thing about Taos that's pretty cool is uh, there's a lot of bands, a lot of music up there, so different kinds of music, so uh, there's a lot of opportunity to meet people and stuff like that. So, so. let me hear a little bit about you guys' uh, style and your music, what, what you're trying to do with it, you know, something different for the fans. All right, well, I would say that one thing that makes us stand out is definitely um, we try to take a progressive kind of edge to it. Um, and I think one thing that that's different about us too is we're not trying to repeat ourselves every time we write a song. Like when, every time we write a song, it's what can we do different that we haven't tried before. Um, and sometimes that means going into different styles of music. Sometimes that means, uh, well, let's try an odd signature or something. Or, you know, or sometimes that means let's use some acoustic instruments, you know, and, and do some kind of different textures and stuff like that. So, uh, can, you, can you talk about a little of those progressive influences? Like what... What, what I mean, what shows, what kind of, what albums to you guys Influences? Uh, yeah. uh, I would say uh, there's Yes, there's Rush, there's Genesis, there's ELP, uh, you know, there's just tons of bands from that genre on way to the 90s even, uh, mm-hmm. Fate's Warning, you know, uh, yeah. bands of that Dream nature, theater. Dream Theater, nice. um, plus, you know, we all grew up Listen to classic metal too, you know, Metallica, Sabbath, Priest, um, Priest, Priest. Iron Maiden. So, <laughs> uh, plus, you know, in the in the '90s, a lot of Pantera back in those days. Oh, yeah, so, well, you know, definitely. you got to give that back. Yeah. So, so, is there anybody outside of your genre that in really inspires you? We we'll talk about that a little bit. Outside of our genre, well, we kind of, um, especially this guy. He's 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 a. Uh, Classical player as well. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Plays right. a lot, so I mean, you know, that's really classical guitar as well. Green cool. sleeves. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you're dude playing green yeah. sleeves. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, Flamenco. Yeah, uh, fusion stuff, some jazz, these guys, you know, um, blues. So I think we draw, we draw from a lot of different oh, yeah, styles for sure. Every um, it's really hard to pinpoint something, but. Yeah, I guess like they're saying, you know, uh, I did spend years playing classical music and flamenco music, so we try to bring a little bit of that. So, you guys, we can check out the rest of this interview at musicunite.com. Check us out on Facebook at Music Unite, and um, where, where can we find you guys at? Uh, in the end, on Facebook, uh, in the end, music at um, Yahoo. We're also on Reverb Nation, in the end, 13, and uh, you can find us on MySpace also. Hey, this is Legan with Music Unite, and we are proudly sponsored by Music Go Round. We are back, and thank you to In The End for rocking our Jaeger Meister stage. Yeah, if you want to see that performance again and again, and if you want to check out the full-length interview, be sure to check us out at musicunite.com. Next up, we have Field of Elysium. But first, let's check out Mike 